Hello there. Today we have Doyle Wheeler, owner of Kinetic, with us. Welcome to Network in Action, Doyle. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, we're super excited to have you join this community. I know you've been around for a really long time, and I'm really excited to have this conversation today. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what inspired you to, inspired you to start your business and how the initial inspiration has evolved over time? Yeah, well, this is an interesting topic. I mean, to be totally honest, I started Kinetic out of necessity. Um, we, we were in a weird situation with our life and we'd, we'd actually, I'd been in a really bad work accident and um, we, we, as a family, we lost everything we owned. And so we were basically at the bottom of the barrel. I had nothing to lose, so why not start a business, right? Anyway, yeah. um, it sounds, it sounds really rags to, it's like a, a phoenix rising from the dust, right? But um, it was truly out of necessity. And I think the best thing that ever happened to me is I had no answers. I had no, no education on how to run a business. I just had to do it because my family depended on it. So five years of really hard work um, eventually propelled me to a place where um, I had to really focus on this, this uh, breadwinning business um, to sustain employees and provide opportunity for other people to enjoy what I was enjoying. Um, the work I chose, I didn't know I knew. And so to become a social media only agency was a joke when you were in 2012. Um, Twitter and Facebook are really the on the cusp of becoming mainstream marketing potential platforms for marketing, things like that. And and I wasn't scared to do it because I knew I could make some money from doing this. Um, my background was in a blue collar world and I, I was very active and required active duty, if that makes sense. And so I had to focus on something that would make me money and on the internet where I didn't have to use my body. Yeah, um, I get it. Out of necessity for a lot of people. I hear that a lot. So tell yeah. us what has been your biggest, one of your biggest business challenges as a business owner and how have you overcome it? So I, th I think the biggest business challenge was retaining employees. Mm. Um, I went... I went from just me for five years to two people in the next, in the sixth year. And so this would have been almost six years ago. Um, and I needed the help and I, I wasn't willing to let go of things. Um, and so they weren't feeling like they got responsibility. I didn't even know you had to give employee reviews. And so the big shift and how I overcame that is a whole lot of Google searches and um, I did engage with a business coach that was very helpful in determining that I needed a company culture. My company culture has changed everything, absolutely everything. And now we actually use our company culture for our clients. Um, if our clients don't like our company culture, they're not a good fit for, for our, our internal team. Um, so yeah. That's totally usually a thing. sign that a, a company is progressing when they start focusing on things like culture and also making sure that the clients are a great culture match for not just themselves, but for the people. So I commend you because those can be really challenging decisions to make in the moment, especially when you're starting a business out of necessity. But over time, it's really great to be, get to, to choose your client and the people that you, you work with and you make a difference with and you partner with. Oh, so yeah. how do you measure your success in your business beyond just the financial metrics? Uh, to be totally honest, happy clients. Mm -hmm. um, if, if my clients aren't happy, I would rather tear up the contract and either fix that or we both part ways. Um, and fortunately, I haven't had that issue. Um, there, there's, there's always an instance where a client needs to go a different direction. And I hope that it was my... Uh, growing them to a place where they were too big for us. I mean, that would be the ultimate goal is people making money from our services. Um, we're not the cheapest in town, um, but we strive to do the best work. And the only way we know we did a good job is a happy client and even better, a client that's willing to refer our work to others. In their, yes, in their I call those raving fans. Clients yeah, totally. that are referring you to other people is so great. 
And I know that's kind of cliche in a way, but um, I come from blue collar world and yeah. customer service is where we made our money. It didn't. It, well, and it I, I think people try and come up with the latest and the greatest, but like there really are some basics to good business, you know, and, and this is, is one of them. And it's where a lot of folks uh, miss, miss the boat, unfortunately. Yeah. And it, to be honest, um, that it, it takes empathy and humility to make that happen. There's yeah. No way around it. If, if, if a, you know, it's, it's in our company culture um, that we tell the truth, even if it's not good on us, you know, yeah. if it's a negative thing for us, we're, we have to be honest transparency this is what's yeah. so yeah what makes working with you in in your team uh different and special than working with other agencies that offer the same services you do so one of the things that we've noticed time over time is that an agency offers social media assistance um as a secondary thing like it's not as important as their branding work etc and so working with Kinetic is an engagement that becomes social media first. Everything we do from branding, graphic design, anything we do, we're going to be figuring out your social media strategy. If you don't have one, we make, make one for you <laughs> at no cost because we'd be serving up a marketing tragedy if we weren't focused on what you actually wanted your people to know and what your customers should know. Um, one thing we weigh heavy on is that branding is for your customers, not for yourself, uh, unless you're a personal brand, but, um, your business serves a client base and we dig deep to find that. And by the time we're done with a branding exercise or a website design, um, we're 60% in the know of what your social strategy could look like. And, mm -hmm. and so, um, we feel like our processes and the way we communicate with our clients makes that a very um, easy conversation. We, do, we want to take the overwhelm out of, I have to do social media into a reason it's going to grow your business. Yeah. Yeah. So good. I'm, I'm, folks, go out and check out his website because I love that you have so much of your work out there. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy schedule today and welcome to Network in Action, Doyle. Hey, thanks. Happy to be here. I'm super yeah. excited for the future. We are super excited too.